bit about what you're doing here today. Yes, today at Civic Day, it's so exciting. We're doing a t-shirt hackathon. Um, and what that means is we're turning old t-shirts, old worn t-shirts into reusable bags. Um, so kids and families can go to the library, the grocery store around town and have a nice new reusable bag out of a t-shirt. So it's really showing how you can reuse your textiles. It, it, all the schools are recycling. That's part of, that's a town um, mandate to recycle in all the school buildings. Um, so they are, all are doing that. Um, composting is newer, the food waste um, reduction. And so right now there are three schools that are doing that. What's the most important thing that people should know about recycling? I think I think, eyes. I, I think it's like what you can recycle. Like you can recycle plastic bags, but no on curbside recycling. But at the supermarket. We went um, in February, in early February, to um, North Andover, to so where the incinerator is, and. Um, so we collected, we did an audit and collected from all the schools, and it was a little over a ton, a ton and a quarter per day on the schools. So um, that's about the size of an American bison, so that was a good visual for some of the school children to hear about. Almost all the schools actually were one short, but they're about to start a green team, so all of them have some kind of environmental club or green team, and they're very active at all the schools. And there's often activities right now, we're doing a big textile recovery campaign at all the schools, a big competition. Uh, the things that we gathered were really to take a, uh, they're going to we're going to donate and they're going to take it apart and they're going to build, build them into new things. We'd love for our parents to be involved. Um, there are usually green team organizers at all the schools and that's often on the school website or the school newsletter. They can connect to the green team organizers. We